Hello and welcome to Braintree High School for today's Braintree High School Boys Varsity Volleyball match against the Brookline Warriors. And I'll tell you, it was like a hat show coming in here for Brookline. They all had a bunch of different hats on. It was like top hats, straw hats. It was pretty entertaining as they walked right by us here. It is Justin Turpin with our camera operator, John, with Beat Cam TV's coverage. It feels, looks, smells, it's got all the looks of spring here. And can say, how does it look like spring and feel like spring indoors? Well, allergies get into my voice a little bit. If there's some volleyball going on, there's a little bit of sweat tripping down my neck from the sweatshirt in the heat of the gym. But we are getting underway here. Set one goes. And that is out of bounds. So Grace, you get a quick point there. And they'll take the serve. Just sends it over, the bump up by Brookline. Trying to get a kill at the net, tips it over and they get it. It was off the fingertips of Ellis Huang to Braintree. And Brookline ties it at one apiece. So notice their off-colored jersey for one player of each side. For Braintree, that player is number two, Roger Wong. And for Brookline, that player is number 16, Cameron Jellick. And those offsetting jerseys are the liberos, which is basically a defensive specialist. And when they come in and out of the game, it is not registered as a substitution. So those are kind of an interesting rule with volleyball as Brookline sends it over. Good bump here by Branch. We're trying to get a kill at the net. Have a good opportunity and get it. So Wong who had the mistake on the last uh, rally. Gets the point there for Braintree. We are tied at 2-2 early here in set number one. Game got going just a little bit later than it was scheduled. This game was originally scheduled for 4.30. Didn't start till about 5.10. Coming from Brookline, a long drive through the city. And I don't believe they get out of school until about three o'clock. So, Braintree's been in the gym for a while now, messing around, trying to stay loose. So, Big kind of keeping your focus is big when that happens, when the game gets delayed. Especially when you're here. I assume a lot of these kids didn't go home after school, stayed here and just started getting loose. So we'll see how the focus is. They look dialed in so far as that one goes out of play. A little bit too much there. And a 4-2 Brookline lead here. And now will be the libero, number 16, Cam Angelic. On the serve over, good bump up there by number 11. Who's not actually, oh, that's Anthony Volpe, excuse me. So a couple of new faces for Braintree. A couple players missing, as you look down the roster here, and I saw the JV head coach over on the sideline with Braintree, and a couple of JV players on the back of the bench, that players that have been with JV, obviously playing with the varsity today, as Wong sends it over on the serve. Brookline looking for the kill and too much on it. So Braintree will retain the serve. And it'll be scored at four apiece. So Braintree's got a nice little fan section to our right and they all got these paper signs. That say, let's go Braintree. As Wong sends it over, good serve there. Deep into the zone, Brookline looking to get it over. They do, Wong with the bump. And that was a weird play as it hit the net. Well played by Braintree. Back deep in the Brookline zone. Good volley between the two. And a good play there by number 10 for Brookline. And tried to kick the ball up to himself. Didn't quite work. Now with the mat there. Things just gonna fall to the ground. Good play there by Braintree, and a backwards hit for Braintree. It's another diving effort, and make it three. And a couple bodies hit the deck there, some great effort by Braintree, but a point nonetheless for the Warriors. As Tassima Boss Sullivan will continue to serve here for the Warriors, an open hand serve, sends it over. Braintree trying to set up a kill. And almost a collision there. Figured it out. And 
to go over, and it's a point for Brookline. So a little bit of a Brookline run here. Three straight points. They lead at 7-4. Too low for Brian Gow. He tried to bump it back over, hits the top of the net, so making a four point run here for the Warriors. Granger trying to set it up and get a point here for themselves. Some great block right at the net. I couldn't tell who got a hand on it. I believe it was number 23. That's Nikhil Wong for Brookline. I believe he was the one that got there. Entry sends it over, good serve. It died right in the middle there, but well played. Volpe hits it up off the ceiling. They're gonna play this. And actually a good fall there for Braintree. And really well played there by Ellis Huang. Off the ceiling, it got caught up in the, the pipes up there. Kind of fell right where Braintree wanted it. Right at about center court here. And now Huang will serve it. Jumps high, sends it over. And they're looking for a kill right here on the right edge, and they get it. This is number 10, Charlie Purdue. And he will now do the serving duties for the Warriors, who lead 9-6. Purdue sends it over, and it's gonna be short, right in front of the official here on the ladder. Hits the net. And Braintree will take over, doing the serving duties now for Braintree. Is number 22, Brian Gao, open hand serve from the back line, sends it, hits the net, and takes a branch rebounds and a branch tree point. So no substitutions yet for the Womps. Head coach Roberta Stenard sticking with what she's got. And a close one here, a 9-8 Brookline lead. Gao now serving from the right side. And they're looking for that kill on the left, which they've gotten a couple times, and this time, it is number 11, Fletcher Poon, that gets it for the Warriors. So they've been attacking that left side, and they've been doing a good job getting the kills over there. 10-8, the lead now for Brookline. As they send it over, bumped up high by Volpe. Wong was over there, and Roger Wong gets it over. And that falls right in the soft spot of the defense. It's right where Braintree just didn't need it to fall. It was a good play there by Brookline as they jump on top by three. And a quick timeout by head coach Roberta Stenard. We saw her do that a couple of times last game. She takes a quick one here. We'll take a break with them. Braintree trails 11 to eight here. We'll be back in just a minute with B-Camp TV's coverage of Braintree High School varsity boys volleyball. And we welcome you back in here to set number one. Braintree trailing 11 to eight here early. So we saw Stenard take an early timeout a couple times in Braintree's last match. And she does it here again early. So timeout, so there's, the way the volleyball works is you play five sets, first to win three, and all sets are played to 25 points. You get two timeouts per set. So. If you go the distance, you could have 10 timeouts in the game. As Brookline sends it over, Gal with a bump, and Volpe ran out of room there, right in front of the official with the ladder. There's a pad on there for a reason, because that could have been dangerous. Five point Brookline lead, send it over, and some miscommunication there between Gao and Wong. Didn't know whose ball it was. They let it go between the two. And it's a point and an ace for Brookline. As they send it over the jump serve, Volpe bumps it. It'll be set. And Volpe looking for the kill, and he's got it. That was Charlie Perdue looking to bump it back over. Just kind of rolled up his arm. And a point for the Wumps. So Braintree's still sticking with the same group they started the game with. Just one change, but it doesn't register because that's the Rivera Roger Wong checking out. And that's a little bit too much on the serve from number 27, Tanise 
Sarvastava. So Wong checks back in. And Brookline's gonna send it over. And they're gonna run into the serve. Good set here by Gao. Trying to set it up, and it was a little bit behind. Well played by Braintree. Lead them to Brookline, so he's gotta get it over. And I believe they touched the net. That's a little point for Braintree. We're gonna see another timeout here, so that'll do it for Braintree's timeouts as they've used both, and we'll keep it right here, just a minute in the timeout. And then Brookline leading 16 to nine, so the teams will meet just real quick. And Branch is gonna have to clean up on that left edge. That's where they're killing them, getting the kills right there, right in the net. Other than that, it was, it's been a back and forth game. Just eliminate a couple of these Brookline runs, which is what happens in volleyball. Once you get the serve, if you can hold on to it, you're in really good shape. So you got about 20 seconds remaining on the timeout. Let's see if Braintree makes any substitutions. Neither team really exceptionally tall. A lot of the guys usually in front of the net, really tall players. Neither team really has that here. If you look down the line. And doing the serving here is Nikhil Wong for Brookline. A good opportunity for Branch as they set it up. Well played by Brookline, looking for a kill of their own block by Volpe. Kept alive. And there they go on that left edge again. Well played by Branch and Gao trying to set it up. And they get it over. So good volley between the two. And Brookline looking for the kill too much. And over the head of Wong and out of bounds. Rancher takes the serve and a good volley between the two teams. And now serving for Braintree will be number 12. That's Tyler Tang. Tang's gonna run and jump into the serve, sends it over and it was close, but it went out of bounds. It's close right along that left line, but it goes out of bounds. Now a seven point lead for the Warriors. Send it over. Looking for Volpe. Volpe looking to kill it. Well played by the Warriors. And this is a deep attempt, and it looked like it landed in bounds, but it was out of bounds. They got a better view than I do from up here. But out of bounds and a brain tree point. It's a small court. And the lines are tough to see with all the other court lines for different sports. You got obviously basketball in here, you got volleyball, and you got even some gym activities in here. You see some tape on the floor, I believe that's for some um, floor hockey or whatever it may be, speedball even. But volleyball, obviously the white lines. And it's gonna go out of bounds. Too much on the serve from Volpe. Brookline sends it back to Branch, who's low, kept alive by the Wonks. And they gotta get it over here on their third hit, they do. And the jumping effort there by Lobero, and that almost took the head off of number 22, Brian Gow. So hard hit again from that left side. Branch is gonna have to figure out how to contain that, because that has been the reason for a lot of the Brookline points here early, as they now lead 19 to 12. And that one came in hot. This is Wong. Branch is going to get it over. They do. That was number 10, Wilson Lynn. Uh, foul called on Braintree. Excuse me, on Brookline. And it'll be Wong to serve for the Wops. Then that's number 28, Brandon Lynn checking in, right? Right at that middle hitter position, replacing Tanise Sarvastava for the Womps. Long bumps it, and they're gonna look for a kill here. 
And great block. That was number 19. Cameron Gel kick. With the block. will be Huang for Braintree. Brookline just needing five more points to take set number one. Good serve, goes low, kept alive. Brookline looking for the kill. Volpe hits it, diving effort near the bench. And a good effort there by Huang, but not enough. And it'll be Purdue here for Brookline. He's gonna step into it, open hand serve, hits the net. Brain tree serve, brain tree point. And it'll be Brian Gao. As you see those paper signs to the right of us flying up. It's Gao. Didn't really walk into it much, just put it over. Maybe because last time he jumped into it went way far. Well, that one just a little bit too soft. Serve, Volpe the bump, it's gonna get over and hits the net, that's a point for Braintree. That was number 14, Kristoff. Velarvis that had a shot at it for Needham. As Braintree sends it over. And they're looking for that kill on the left side. And I believe Braintree hit the net. That might have been Lynn. I believe it was Wilson Lynn, number 10. That hit the net for Braintree. So that will be a foul and a point for Brookline, who is now two points away from securing set number one. And this is Nikhil Wong here, number 23. He sends it over too much, over the head of Gao. And Braintree will take the serve. Wong's trailing by six, so they're gonna need a little magic here late in set number one. So Wong sent it over. Brookline looking for the kill, great block there. But he hit the net. It looked clean originally, not quite. It was Lynn that hit the net again. And you see Coach Roberto Stenard just saying, don't reach over. Keep those hands. And this is match point here for the Warriors. And the jump serve, send it over. Gal the bump, trying to set it up. This is Lynn trying to get his revenge. It was blocked at the, at the net. Lynn tried again, and this time, he almost had it, goes out of bounds. So the Warriors take set number one, 25-17. They're gonna switch sides and switch benches, which is always entertaining to me. I don't know why they switch the benches, but they do. Switch sides and switch benches, and we'll be back after a quick break on BCAM TV. You might feel like there's too many problems in the world or that you know you as a 15 year old 16 year old can't really make a difference it's not always about you it's not just one person it's it's a group it's a team if we all show up together that's what it's all about i was a part of helping to build what it is today i'm really lucky to get to be a part of that legacy just that simple act that takes you know five or ten minutes of your time is making a difference and is transforming someone else's life. Once you get there and realize how much you can change someone's life, it's one of the best feelings in the world. I'd do anything to convince you just to be a part of this. You guys keep doing what you're doing, it's something special. Get up and try something, just try it. Just go, just go to one event, one action team event. It'll just make you feel so good about yourself. Welcome back to Braintree High School here for set number two. And it's a team 
switch sides and switch benches. As I was saying before the break, always interesting to me. They're gonna move all that stuff. I don't know. I guess some things are left better unanswered. This referee retrieves the ball and Braintree will start with the serve. This will be number 28, Brandon Lynn. It's Lynn, open hand serve, sends it over. We are underway. Looking for the kill. And I think he touched the net again. Oh, it was touched on the, I think it was number 14. He's got a confused look. That was number 14 for Needle. Oh, Brookline. I keep calling him Needle with these jerseys. And Branch is going to serve again. Send it over. That's way short. And Brookline will take over. See Tobero, Roger Wong check back in. Doesn't count as a substitution. Got some new jerseys for the Womps this year. Got that new Braintree B logo on the right side. And we've got the number in white on the front. And on the back, it's got the number again in white with the writing Braintree under the number. A nice little stripe pattern, a dotted pattern up the side. So pretty nice jerseys. And that one lands out of bounds. That was pretty close to that end line. It lands out of bounds. Always interesting to me that they don't have an official on the end line for those close calls. But Branchy will take it. As we got a young man charging his phone behind the uh, server here. And the referee said, you can't, can't be there, sir. I'm sure there's plenty of outlets he can find. As Braintree sends it over. Looking for the kill on that right side. Well played by the Wombs. Good volume between the two here to start set number two. And the Braintree bench is alive and into it as they lead 3-2. And the young man that was charged his phone goes and looks for a new outlet. And I think he's going to find it right behind the chairs there. As Branger gets ready to serve it over. Good effort there by Needham. Kept it alive and some confusion there between the two. So not sure what two were thinking. As their friend found his charger. And he's got some juice on his phone now. And this is Tang to send it over for Branger. Skims the net, gets over. Looking for the kill, blocked by Braintree. And some more miscommunication. It's between number 23, that's the kill Wong, and number 14. I cannot find on the spreadsheet here. Brookline sends it back over, Volpe working. I think he didn't know how much room he had there. He's running out of real estate really quickly. There's the bleachers down here. And a 4-4 set. And that's gonna land out of bounds. Some smart play there by Brookline to watch it go out of bounds. And that throw was a little off, passing it back. Serve. He was laughing to the serve and tipped up, almost went in the hoop. And backwards hit there by Lynn. Deep. And out of bounds. And a substitution here. This is going to be number three, William Vo, replacing number 22, Brian Gow for Braintree. Braintree trailing 6-4 here early in set number two. There's a serve from Brookline. Right to the new Braintree player. 
William Vaux. And a great effort there by Huang, trying to meet him at the net. Just couldn't quite get it. Hit him right in the chest and fell right there. So Needham getting on another run here, which is what killed him in set one. But Brookline, I'm sorry, I keep calling him Needham. Brookline. Now an 8-4 lead for the Brookline Warriors. Maybe would have went out of bounds if Vo was to let it go. And that's an illegal hit there. And Brookline and some confusion there. And another substitution here. It's going to be number 22, Brian Gao, replacing William Vo. So not a long shift there for Vo. As he checks back out an 8 5 lead for the Warriors. And this will be Volpe for the Wombs, open hand serve, sends it over. Looking for the kill, and too much. As it goes out of bounds, and a point for Braintree, who now only trail by two. Volpe will serve again, standing right on the baseline. And he'll walk it up, jump, and open hand serve, skims the net and gets over. So a lucky bounce there for Braintree. Sometimes those can go either way. And it skims the net. The laws of gravity on the side of the Womps there. Stay down to trail 8 7. OP hits it over. Brookline trying to get back on track and blocked at the net. That was number 10, Wilson Lynn, who rejected it. And a tie game here. Volpe will continue to serve for the Womps. Open hand serve, jumps into it, sends it over, hits the net, and then luck not quite on his side this time. And Brookline takes over as they make a substitution of their own here. And the serve, hit by Volpe, that's gonna hit off the pipe again. Well played by the Womps, Kyle's gonna get over, he does it. Brookline looking for the kill, blocked again by Lynn, and a great play. So back-to-back -back great plays by Lynn. So he had the block in the last play, and then this one he had a block, they hit it right back to him, and he got the kill. And he will now check out, as that's number 28, Brandon Lynn, that will replace him. And Roger Wong and Sir sends it over. He's got enough on it, gets over. Brookline looking for the kill. And a diving effort, Brancher keeps it alive and gets a point and hit the net that should have been blown dead. But they're gonna keep it playing. Gal gonna look for the kill here and he's got it. And this has been all Brancher here on this late surge. Still only one point lead to show for it. Long will serve again for the Womps, sends it over, and it could be trouble, and it's short. So we are tied here at 10 apiece. As the Warriors send it over, right to Volpe, who bumps it, gonna set it up, and they're looking for Wong. And kept alive by the Warriors, looking for a kill of their own, and they get it. Couldn't tell if it hit a brain tree hand there, and the ball changes direction, so it's usually a dead giveaway. It did, and that's a point there for the Warriors. He took set one, 25-17. As Brookline sends it over, Volpe goes low for it and gets it. Gao looking for the kill. Kept alive by Brookline, and Gao is looking for it there. Couldn't quite get it. Over the outstretch arms. Brookline touched the net. And that was number 10, Charlie Purdue, that touched the net there for the Warriors. And the official on the ladder there tells him what he did. And now it will be number four, Ellis Wong. For the Womps, standing on the baseline here. Probably run and jump into the serve. He looks ready to go. And he's going to do just that. The open hand serve sends it over. Bumped up, low, in trouble here for Brookline. Gonna get it over and they don't do it. So 12-11, now Braintree leads. See if Brookline 
they can time out maybe to gather themselves. The young coaching staff for the Warriors. Swan sends it over. And trouble again for the Warriors and a point for Braintree who now leads by two. So 13-11, Braintree lead. Swan sends it over. Warriors looking for a kill, and Wong kept it alive, and nobody home. So some miscommunication there for the Braintree Wongs. Nobody was home there, right on the center line. And a point for the Warriors. Brookline sends it over, Volpe with the bump. There, that was number 12, Tyler Tang. And they're gonna go right back to Tang. Tang trying to send it over, trying to find a dead spot. And he does. Despite the diving effort, it goes backwards. It goes the wrong way for Brookline. And a point for Braintree. And a 14-12 set here. Braintree trailing the match one to nothing. As Gao gets ready for the Womps, he sends it over. For a kill, then Wong was right there, but it falls out of bounds. And a good angle there for the official was right to the right of her ladder. And a 14-13 set, a good, good job by both teams here. And they get it over, they do. And now Brookline's gonna get over down to their last hit, and it's an illegal hit. Point for the Wamps, who lead at 15-13. And that's number 10, Wilson Lin checking in. And Wong hopping off, doesn't register as a substitution. And Lin will serve. And right off the noggin. He ate that one. Now 15-14. That one was tipped and a point for Brookline. They're going to play that. And Lynn gets it over. And kept alive here by Braintree. And that looks like it was a little bit left out of bounds, but that's right in front of the official, so they've got a better view than I do. And the timeout is taken. So 16 15, Brookline lead. We'll be back in just a minute here on BCAM TV. Back here in a 16-15 set. As Brookline sends it over, Goldie bumps it. Long's gonna set it here and get himself back, back over. And Brookline looking for kill, too much on it, and we have a tie game. And a little dance from the head coach there. Trying to rally her team. And a tie game. Time dwindling here. And the serve hits the net off the hand of number 12, Tyler Tang.
Brookline sends it over to Braintree. Volpe's gonna get it over and out of bounds. He was out of bounds when he hit it. And that's kind of tough to get it back in. It went actually right over the head of the official and landed out of bounds. So we'll have another quick timeout. We'll keep it here. Just gonna be a minute timeout here as Braintree trails 18 to 16. Getting late here in set number two. And Braintree is holding their own and still are. Just a two point game, this thing far from over. Still plenty of ball to be played. But Braintree behind in the match, one nothing here. After falling 25-17 in set number one. So that'll be it for the timeouts for Braintree. And we've seen Stenard likes to use the timeouts. She used both last match and has used both in this one as well. So far, at least. And this one getting late. 18 16, Brookline lead. And Brookline sends it over, bumped up. And they're going to look for Kill with Volpe. Skim the Brookline hand. Now they got it right from the net. A good set up there. Too much. And it goes out of bounds to an 18 17 lead for Brookline. As Volpe's going to jump into it and hits the net. And it's going to fall right there. Nineteen seventeen lead in favor of the Warriors. As they send it over right to Volpe, who was waiting for it. And Braintree kept it alive, and that one's in a lot of bounce. So a late surge here from the Warriors. They lead 2017. Serve over. Another tough play by the Womps and nothing there. And that was a tough play for Gao along the left sideline. And you see Coach Denard saying, calm down. Brookline sends it over. And looking for the kill right to Wong. He was right there. And this is Lynn who hits the net. So a late surge here for Brookline. As they lead by five. Needing just three more to take set number two. There's the Warriors send it over. Volpe hits it. It goes backwards. They're going to get it over now in the third hit. Gow is going to do it. Brookline's there. Well played. Setting up the kill. And it was blocked by Lynn, but it goes out of bounds. A point there for Brookline. Just needing two more to win the set. Sinet falls short, and so do the Lops. As they fall 25-17 here, the same score as the last set. And Brookline now one away from winning the match. We'll take a break, and we'll be back in just a minute here on BCAM TV. I'm Justin Turpin.
Welcome back in for set number three here. With Brookline taking the last two. The score 25 to seven in both of them. 25-17, excuse me, in both of them. So Braintree down to their last cast. Need to win this set to stay alive or else this one will be over. As they have switched sides again and switched benches again for some unknown reason. And Brookline will start with the serve. Braintree trying to set something up with Lynn and hits the net and a point for the Wamps. So this will be Volpe on the serve. Last time he served, they got in a bit of a run. See what they can do here. And that's not going to help. Goes over the head and out of bounds. Brookline will take over on the serve. So they get a little let's go Brookline chant. And that died rather quickly. And backwards by Tang. It's long to hit it over. And good meet the net by Lynn. So Lynn's been high flying right at that net. A couple calls haven't gone his way in regards to touching the net, but he has been solid right there. And that's a point for the Wamps, and they were fired up after that one. And this will be Roger Wong. For Braintree, sends it over. Brookline trying to set something up. So Braintree's done a good job slowing them down on the left end. That's where they were getting most of their kills earlier in the match. They've slowed them down. Braintree out to a 3-1 lead here early in set number three. It's long. And there they are looking for that kill on the left side. Dallas right there to hit it off the ceiling. Well played again by Braintree. Long gets it over. Probably would have went out of bounds if they let it go. They played it. Looking for the kill. And did that land in bounds? It did. Officials say it did. So two officials on either end of the net. And they say that one landed, and that's a point for Brookline. Now a 3-2 game. And Brookline looking for the kill, and it was tipped off of Braintree fingertips. I believe that was number 28, Brandon Lynn. They got a hand on that one, changed the direction, made it go high and out of bounds to the left. Hook line serve. Well set up by Tang. And looking for the kill. And touch the net. That's a point for Braintree. They jump on top four to three now. This will be Ellis Wong. Jumps and sends it over. And a kill there, this powerful spike there by Brookline. And they knot it up at four apiece. So again, Brancher down to their last gasp here. Losing the first set, it's two sets. Had a combined 50 to 34 score. Send it over. Volpe hits it a little bit to the right. Wong was there to get it. And not enough on it there from number 28, Brandon Lynn. And we're going to see a substitution here. That's going to be Volpe checking out, and we'll have William Vo checking in. So we saw Vo check in last set, and he'll be checking in again today. So again, Braintree missing some players. You see no Nat Barty, 
Ryan Liu. So, just a couple of their varsity players with some junior varsity filling in as that one goes out of bounds and a point for Brookline, who lead it six to four. Last hit there, they got it over, looking for the great block. So Brandon Lynn, who had the mistake on the last point for Brookline, makes up for it there and gets a point for the Lumps. And that was a quick shift, even quicker than the last time, for William Vo, who checks in, checks out rather. And Anthony Volpe to check in for him. That's the serve. Brooklyn trying to set up a kill and well played here by the Wombs, trying to set up one of their own. And then hit it over and trying to get him on like a change up there. He'll slow it down. And too far past the outstretched arms of Wong and a 7-5 lead for the Warriors. Brookline. I don't know what happened there. Folpe thought it was going out of bounds or not, but that's going to be a timeout for Stenard and the Wumps as they trail 8 5 here down to their final gas. We'll be back with more of set number three right after this break. We welcome you back in. Rancho trailing eight to five here. And they get a nice kill there, Brookline does. Because they've done a great job controlling the net. And if you can control the front of the net, most of the times you're gonna come away victorious. And they are doing a great job doing that. Sends it back over the Wops. It might have been a violation before. I think they were illegally set up. And that's just a free point for Brookline there. And the official gave the explanation to head coach Roberta Sennard, the official closest to us on the ladder there. But back turned to us, so we couldn't really quite hear it. But my guess would be an illegal formation or something. As Braintree, great kill there. Great job by number 12, Tyler Tang, who hits it over. Braintree trailing by four here. And this will be number 28, Brandon Lynn. On the serve for Braintree. And now Brookline's gonna get called for the illegal formation or illegal setup. So Braintree gets that point right back. 10-7 now. Braintree's gonna serve again. There's Lynn's serve. That was short, barely got over the net, but it does the trick. And blocked at the line. And he might have pushed that. That looked like a little bit of an illegal, illegal hit. That looked more like a shove, but it was out of bounds anyway. It doesn't matter. It's a point for Branch. We now trail by just two. And that's Wilson Lynn doing a great job manning the middle there for the Wops. Brookline looking for the kill, and they get it. And they get the serve back. Roger Wong checks in, replacing number 28, Brandon Lynn. And the serve. It's in the back, tough play here by Branch. You're gonna get it over, Lynn gets it over. Killed. The bump off the rim, took actually a branch bounce off that. Bopey gets it over in a good volley between the two here. 
So Ranger looking for a kill. This is the win. Couldn't get it. Kept alive. Now they're going to try it again. And off the net. So a great volley between the two. That actually took a Braintree bounce off the top of the backboard there. It almost hit the side of the rim. And that might have benefited Braintree because if that hoop was not there, it was going to go well out of bounds. Almost near the wall. That had a lot of power on it, but Braintree will take it. A lot of those bounces have gone their way, which is typically not the case. As Braintree sends it over. Brooklyn, oh, blocked. Doing a great job there. I was just talking about it. Wilson Lynn doing a great job manning the middle for the Wops. Braintree just trails by one now, 11 to 10 here in set number three. Braintree needing to win the next three sets to win the match. The serve gets over. They're looking for that kill and they get it. It was too low for Tyler Tang to reach it. So 12-10, Brookline lead. The Warriors send it over, Braintree gets it over. And Brookline down in their final hit. And blocked again by Lynn. That looked like it landed in bounds, but again, out of bounds in the point for the Wops. Talked about the height earlier. Lynn, not really a crazy tall guy. He's tall, but not crazy tall, but he does a great job jumping to hit those, hit those balls right at the net. As Volpe's gonna send it over and almost went out of bounds. They played it. Brookline and hit the net and out of bounds. So we have a tie game here in set number three. Volpe doing the serving duties for the brain tree again. Hits it over. And that's gonna find the weak spot right between the two hands of brain tree players. It's Brian Gow and Wilson Lynn. It falls right between the two. And this is William Vo now checking in. He's gonna replace Volpe. So Stenard probably thinking strategically here as we've seen Vo come in, in and out of the games with different sets today. I thought I heard a whistle. It was an illegal hit. And yeah, they call it two hits on Gao. So 14-12 the lead in favor of the Warriors. Ah, the serve. Yeah. And Vaughn lets it go out of bounds. Smart play there. And checking right back in is Brandon Lynn. And he replaces Wilson. So smart play by Wong, and let's, lets it fall out of bounds, take the easy point. No point of falling if you don't have to. Oh, tough play for Vo, a little bit low. And a point for the Warriors, who now lead 50 and 13, just 10 points away from winning the match. Granger trying to avoid another sweep. A young team are the Wongs. Wong gets it, gets it over. And Brookline looking for the kill, and they do. Lynn jumped the gun a little bit too early. Was trying to meet it for a block jump just a little bit too early. And it's a point for the Warriors, who now just need nine more to win it. There's the serve. Finds its way over. Tough play again. So that, that's not Tang's fault. Tang right in the middle just watched it go right over him. Nothing you can really do there. Great kill by Brookline. There goes Huang. Looking for a kill, they get it. A near collision there between Tang and Wong. They just missed each other. And timeout taken by Stenard. So, been mentioning it a lot today. She loves to use timeouts. 
She'll use another one here. Braintree trails 17 to 14 here in set number three. Braintree down on their last gasp. We'll be back with more coverage after this. Welcome back in here. Brookline's going to serve it over. And Braintree down their last hit. Wong's going to bump it over. Good bump there. Got enough fun of it. And a near collision there. Wong hits the deck, gets low. Brancher in trouble and out of bounds. So 18-14. Brookline lead. As they send it over, Wong's gonna bump it. Wong's gonna try to set it up for Tang and he's blocked. Now Gao, who didn't get enough under it. And a point for Brookline. So did Brookline just needed six more points to win it. And you know, you look at these timeouts, and they've been more beneficial for Brookline. Usually they kind of end a run, but for Braintree, they just seem to come out a little more flat after the timeouts, which is kind of an interesting thing. And good block there by Braintree. So Brookline's gonna have another hit to get it over, and they do. Wong's gonna set it, tough play for Tang, he gets it over. And a good kill attempt here. Wong hits it off the net, and that's a tough play for Huang. So, good play there by Roger Wong, keeping it alive. It's a really tough play there for Ellis Huang to get it back over when you're trying to play it against the net. You can't hit the net, obviously, so trying to set it up for Gao. And another point here for Brookline. So since the timeout, it's been like a six-point Brookline run. And that goes to what I was saying about them coming flat out of the timeout. And Braintree deep in their own territory, gutting it over. This is lands on a bounce. Smart play there by number 27 for Brookline. That's Jason Rich. Great play. Let's it go out of bounds. Despite running out of some real estate, so Brooklyn are trying to get on a run and put it away, but they can't get that one over. So 22 to 15, and you gotta figure this is it for Braintree. Gonna need a run here. I think the substitution. This is Volpe replacing Vo. Braintree gonna need everyone they can get here. They're gonna get some help here. They're gonna get it over here, though Brooklyn, and they do. Long is set. They got it. So two more points needed for the Warriors. 23-15 game. So Long sets it up. Volpe looking for it. He got blocked. And we are on to match point. Gets over, and that will do it. So, Braintree will be swept as they lose three sets to none by a combined score of 75 to 49. The Wamps dropped another one at home, and a young team, and there was definitely some promise. It's all about eliminating those runs. But that'll be the final. Three to nothing in favor of the Warriors by a combined score of 75 to 49. For our camera operator here today, John, this has been Justin Turpin. We thank you for listening, for watching, and we will see you next time.